Hi, uh, welcome. This is in old SSD. Let's have a look. Console T. It's one of 1810. So this day and age, we know that 10 stands for October, and we are almost uh, 12th. So December the third. So it's been a while, and it's interesting to always film the updates because, well, first off, I come across a lot of things, and you learn how to keep rolling. And there are some things that are new. Well, Casey is one of those things. You see this conky down here, and Casey is kill the conky. That's gone. Next up, maybe I'll better use my screen key, which is not installed since this a um, minimal one. Um, I think it's called screen key. Not sure if it's in Pac-Man or in... Well, actually, you can just start typing in yay, and then screen key. And now let's analyze. Yeah, and you know right now that it's not coming from the Arco Linux repositories. It's coming from the Arch user repository. So we install everything and that's that. That's for showing you what um, keys I always uh, click. So here you see already that I have an issue. This is an SSD of two, year, two months ago. All these URLs uh, will have changed um, and so on. So this file, you want it to retrieve from this uh, mirror, then for this mirror, all the mirrors do not have the file anymore. What I need to do, definitely need to do, is to update. That's the application we use, or the, the command we use, but it's actually an alias. And the alias is this one. So I want you to learn aliases, but I want you also to know what's behind it. That's important, of course. If you go to Arch Linux phase five, you don't have the alias update. So update is there for our convenience. Now everything is being synced again. The databases from all these um, places here are up to date. Uh, where is it? Boop, boop, boop. These places, right? But this is okay. This is what we, um, we we control. This is what we control. This is Arch Linux. We do not have any control over that. So here it goes. Two terabytes of downloads. Uh, gigabyte, I mean, of course, would be terrible. Two terabytes. But two gigabyte is not... Um, so little, but okay, the download size is just half. 513 megabytes is still at the top. So we are updating, it's an old machine. A lot of things have changed. It's now 1812, meaning the release in a few days will be 18.12. Uh, and we've developed and changed a lot of things. And that's also interesting for me um, to, to look out and to learn and to know what will people uh, come across what will be their challenge, what will be the problems. And you know, a problem is an opportunity to learn, but rather no problems, I get that. Almost downloaded. We see it at the back to the right, we see 99% and checking the keys and keyring, we've done that. Package integrity, checking, loading, and off we go. I guess I better pause here a little bit and if I see something I should tell you like this for instance let's scroll, ba scroll back up it says here that um, warning etc system journal d dot conv installed s everybody sees it and nobody does anything it means that there's a new journal d dot conf and it's not overwritten of overwriting your journal dot conf no the new config is actually this one and it's never used ever it's just called pack new that's how i understand it right installed etc journal d was there there was something there and it says okay whoa wait wait, wait a moment there's something there let's save it as pack new but nobody ever looks at those here we have some stuff we should point to it says scale it says scale i see scale we definitely have written a lot of things in the scale so our configuration files, our theming, or our, the way everything is built up in Arch Linux is that you have your updates inside etc scale, but that means that it's not in your home directory. So that's what we'll do. Same applies here. 
boot group this configuration was there and it's going to be saved as this one it's not that the original is saved here is that the new one is saved as this one and then we scroll on we scroll on we scroll on and all good and we're there if you're not sure update the game and roof everything done oh great that it hangs another opportunity to teach something to learn you something it hangs i have lately problems with uh servers so i get a list of servers in from reflector which is a mirror right and even then things will not work let's first do a scale okay scale was copy pasting everything from the etc scale to our own place all right and then i'm gonna read get rid of that new wallpaper is needed pronto because that's done as well let's quick look nice okay my screen fetch key thingy i did not put it on screen key where are you screen something i did install it right what is the wrong name i did not install it did i what yeah looks good Okay. What happened? Anyway, so Control Q. Now you see Super Shift Q, not Control. Thank you. And um, we've done a scale, so everything from ETC scale is already in here. But we've done so much work at on the Bash RC latest that you really need to compare. If it's installed, is is a minimal. Article Linux i3 minimal, but next generation will have melted because it's so important to compare. So, sudo pacman minus s melt. Every distro in the future will have the melt application. There you go. So, right mouse click, compare. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. This is new. So, get it in. This is new. Get it in. This is new, get it in, new, in. So this is the new one, the latest one, and this is the old one. So all kind of YouTube downloads. Okay, fine, let's figure it out. This can go, in editor is nano, it's been set somewhere else. So the files are identical. Let's copy paste this one, C, save, page RC. Why am I copy pasting it? What's now copy pasted is what's the most recent, right? So etc scale. This was the old one. Control A, delete. Control V is gone. Too bad. Back to here. To bash or C. Control A, Control C. Control V save and we've overwritten the content of the home directory to the etc scale so next time and there is always a next time you do scale you get the new file in and the new file these two guys they should be completely the same so this is new um, this line is new Lots of lines are new, but this is something specific. Since we're copy pasting everything always, all the time, um, it might be interesting to start changing of the chart, uh, start to add your own personal aliases in this one, bash or C personal. We've explained that in another video, but it never hurts to explain it here as well. It's not that easy to find what you need. So, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then call it latest, not latest, but personal, I think it was. Bash RC personal. Then you do buy, and then you say, this is mine, all mine, right? Doesn't matter what it says there, but what happens to me, for instance, is when I update, 
I do an Utpate. I did it. I did it. Okay. So Utpate is not the word. What I wanted to type was update. So it catches my typos. Would be great, right? So I, if I type per accident, Utspate, it will be updating my system. Just like that. I've been using it now for quite a while. It works and it's handy. So how does it work? Well, first off, you need to source the new Bash RC because this line is linking that line. Uh, sorry, this line is linking the personal one. Let me show it again here. If the file bash personal exists, then add the personal bash rc personal to the latest, to the aliases, right? Now to load everything up, I could do this source.bashrc. But we have a new alias. I was so tired in typing all that that I said, you know what? I'm going to make copy bash cb, two letters. Well, it's sourced. So this is now all red. And if I do an update, I think it was. Go away. Yes. Enter. And update will update, right? Now this mirror thing, still an issue. But we have new Bash RC content. We have here in the mirror. Blah, blah, blah. Where are you? Here they are. We have four mirrors, four aliases. Mirror is one, mirror D, mirror S, mirror A. One of them is bound to work, right? So, by and the by, just start typing mirror. Press now on tap, tap and tap. And there you go. You see the four lines, you never forget them. You just need to press tap. Now the first one is a bit awkward in the sense that it's verbose. Verbose means a lot of talking, verbs, words. And it gives us lots of information. That, Look, I'm going to get those guys. I'm going to ping to it, see how fast they are, and I'm going to uh, see how fast the download is. And I hopefully it's going to get the fastest first. This is faster, so this is going to win. That's the question. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep, I think that's the one that's going to win. And inside, let's do it with uh, this way, Pacman D. Here he is, Fra 10 D Leaseweb. Was that the one? I don't know. Oops. Woo, wrong button. Control X, I thought, yeah. And was that the one? Yep, that's the one. Now let's see if we can update. Update is done, no problem. All the problems we had here, downloading things, synchronizing package databases, pff, nope, problem is gone. Mirror A is something similar, just a bit quicker. You see, don't see all this, this text, not verbose. Eh? But in the end, let's do another uh, but paid, I have to think when I have to, want to type it wrong. <laughs> okay, nice little slide down. And um, there you have it. You have here some different numbers maybe in speed. Not really, they seem all to be exactly the same. So there was the same solution for him. A mirror three, uh, D maybe, that will change figures. No, pretty much the same. That's a bit strange. Now I'm beginning to be suspicious. But anyway, that's the reason it works. That's the most important thing, right? Now I see these icons down here being all blurry. That's normal in the sense that Super Shift Reload is going to reload a little bit. And sometimes it works to reload and sometimes it doesn't. If you're only on i3, then I suggest you try out this GTK3, and I remember it like that, and then something with mushroom. I don't know what it is again. It's with a dash. So GTK3 dash mushroom with an S. Okay, so if you install this one, GTK patch and classic tabs, 
this seems to have uh, worked for me and reported also on Discord for other people as well. So, but it's, I only install it if you're on uh, i3 only because Arch Linux is open box XFC and i3. Okay, updating. That's what we're doing. Rolling. PKSYOA, a lot of stuff from the AOR. Let's see what two months brings to us. Ta da! So let's scroll up in two months' time. We have yay bin i3 gaps. That's an important one for us since we're on i3. Sadi Icon, Spamek is there, Vivaldi is there. So great. All these things are coming in. I'm thinking what else should I um, start telling? There is something I can tell. Let him do his updates. Go and have a look at the bin folder. You know already that there are interesting stuff in here. There's also a little new application called Guns, right? So new thingy. Um, let's see, beep, 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 beep. Why, how was the shortcut again? Seems to be, uh, I forgot the shortcut, did I? Oh, whatever. So I just wanted to slide this more to the side. Might be confusing it with, uh, with BSPWM, but I thought there was a, we had a, a way to do that. Okay, there he is. So what did I do? I press Alt and then right button for the mouse. That was it. So here are your guns. A combination of keys, Whew. finally. So that's one thing. That's not important. What's important is that we have a folder called stay rolling. And that's interesting if you want to go from one version to another version. Sometimes in the past we did not need it really. But this time I think, well, I had to make it for myself anyway. So to test, right? So this is what I came up with. This is what I've been testing all these days. Stay rolling is um, a way to Let's open it. Is a way for us to make more. Let's try it again here. Hey, why? Oh, it's super that I was pressing. Super. Right mouse click. This is about making the Arch Linux, sorry, the Arch Linux ISO more flexible. Getting rid of stuff that's now on the Arch ISO. These elements are in the Arch ISO, were in the Arch ISO in 18.11. They will be deleted. And in the, its place comes this package. Meaning will be even more rolling. That's what this script is for. Deleting stuff that are not being managed by Pacman. But will then again be managed by Pacman because it's the same files that go back in with a package. Then we can change files, delete files, add files. We are free to do whatever we want with this package then. And then the other one is that in 18.12, we decided not to, sorry, to put any Samba on it and another uh, as well, other things like DLP, that's for laptops, trying to um, cut all these services. So if you don't want Samba, you don't need Samba, you don't know what Samba is, run delete all Samba related services. We can actually do that one. So delete, come on, delete all Samba related packages. And if the service is not enabled, as you see, this is a, a minimal version, fail to disable unit, unit file as a base service does not exist. So fine, everything is already okay. Then the other one, is stay rolling. Let's see what happens there. He's first going to update, then he's going to get Arcling bin, but we have already the latest version, but just to be sure, safe, uh, just to be safe, you get the latest in. If you see something pop up, version 9, 10, 11, yeah, then you know, oh, that's this thing that I'm running is not the last version. But Eric, you need to type scale first. If with a scale nothing comes in here, then it's okay. Just depends when in time 
you were doing things. But normally it, it's okay. So everything is deleted and everything is installed. That's basically what's, what's happening. It's a bit strange, but it all has to do with how you manage files when you build an Arch ISO or an Arch Linux ISO. Phase six, right? Okay, that's that as well. In the main, we have added two scripts. One is if you want to have Samba because 18.12 will not have Samba. Run this one, run that one, and you'll have full access to the Samba again. So not much work, just one minute's time to run this and that, and done. You see that there are elements here that are double. They're not double. You, we do, we do not write in your home folder, but when you type skull, you copy paste to here. Then another update comes in with another version and you update again to here. So you're always going to keep your old versions in here. So what you can do is just say, oh, there is a new version. You don't need that one anymore. It's only the last version that needs to work. Let's see if it works actually, if, I've, if I have done it. We have a course, do it. Change in the compression settings for a course. Super, thank you, bye. So now I think I have more or less set everything. How about this guy here, is he still working? Everything okay. So we are on a rolling system, which started in mid-October, maybe even early October. And um, we're two months, two months ahead. And I've done everything I needed to do to be rolling, basically. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All the important things have been changed. And updated so yeah I guess this is our video cheers